What is on the mind of every first time home seller? Oh my goodness, today we're gonna to tackle something on every first time home seller's mind. What in the world are buyers actually looking for? It's a jungle out there, but fear not, we are here to break it down. It's the key from Pink Sands Group, and let's get into it. What you wanna do is understand buyer's preferences. So picture this, you're about to sell your house, and you're like, will anyone even want it? Well, guess what? You gotta get into the minds of buyers. And guess what's number one on the list? Yep, you got it, move it ready. It's still number one. People want that turnkey life. Buyers want to walk in and feel like they're already home. So if you're selling, think about those finishing touches that make a house feel like a home. Here's a game changer, the rise of the home office. With more people working remotely, a dedicated workspace is a huge plus. But it's not just about work. Flex spaces that can be adapted to various needs are still in the spotlight. Think guest rooms that double as a home office or a workout space. Now, outdoor living spaces are a big deal now. Buyers are dreaming of a cozy patio or deck, a little oasis where they can unwind. It's not just about the backyard. It's an extension of the home. Let's talk market dynamics and the competition. Don't let your neighbor outsell you. It's a competition, you know. How does your home and your price compare to theirs? Remember, look from the eyes of a buyer. Take the emotion out of it and think as if you are looking to buy. How about you just go back to when you were house shopping? But hold on a second, we got some new plays in the game. What is it? New construction where they're popping up left, right, and center. They are almost like your direct competition. Are you price right compared to those shiny new homes? And if, you, if your place needs a bit of a makeover, well, that might affect what offer you get. All right, let's get down to business. Business, how can you nail this? First off, it's realistic pricing, that's key. No unicorns and rainbows, just a solid competitive price. Make sure your place is looking sharp too. First impressions still matter. And here's a pro tip. Consider teaming up with a real estate pro. They're like your guys with this crazy wild journey. You guys, stay savvy, stay informed, and happy selling. I hate to interrupt, but if you're thinking about buying or selling a home, call or text me today, 404-834-8533. Back to the video. Now, let's talk about the appraisal challenge. It's like the obstacle course of selling. Buyers these days are savvy. They won't shell out more than what the home is worth. And some sellers, mm, they're going all out, pricing their homes aggressively. But guess what? There's a catch. It's called the appraisal. What if it comes in low? No. Take a deep breath. It happens to the best of us. What does it mean though? Well, simply put, the appraiser values your home for less than the agreed upon sales price. It's not the end of the world, but it sure feels like a plot twist. Buyers might hesitate in this market. They aren't really paying above asking price any longer. You have to price it right or you may lose your buyer. You don't want that. It's likely a domino effect, but here's the thing. It's not uncommon, and there are all ways to handle it like a pro. Feel like the appraiser totally missed the mark? Guess what? We can challenge it. Provide evidence of your home's value, recent upgrades, unique features, anything that adds value. Real value, not emotional value. But keep in mind, this can be a bit of a process and it may not always work. See, this is the thing. Understanding buying preferences, navigating market dynamics, and being mindful of appraisals are crucial for first time home sellers just like you. As always, stay savvy, stay informed, stay empowered, and happy shopping.